What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 210 Got Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. This ain't my typical type of video, my typical type of background, basically. But since it's not sneaker related and the sneaker room is still kind of a mess, uh, I just decided to do the uh, video here in the living room. And uh, y'all saw the topic. Uh, found this Goodwill find right here. The gun vault has the four buttons. Focus has the four buttons and the little key thingy. It is locked, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit used and stuff, but not nothing too crazy. I have been messing with it for a minute, so I'm not gonna lie there and act like I'm just gonna start with y'all. But I'm gonna let you know basically the best method that I use, cause uh, yeah, I bought this safe for basic, basically about three bucks, and it is working as you can see but I can't figure out the code. I went through about 40, 50 different codes and I don't really want to deal with all the combinations. So basically, yeah. First things first, I'm not gonna do it on camera, but I did try it. There's a video, if you look it up on YouTube, using a pin. Every single pin that I've tried, uh, which these are like Dollar Tree stuff, it's not even a Bic. It's called Cielo or something. Yeah, I probably can't even see it. Anyway, um, I tried all the pins that I had in my house. Basic, uh, basically, the way that video was was to put it inside of this right here, this lock, this lock, and make it make it turn, and it would open. But the more and more that I tried it, I couldn't get it. I was doing it for a good while. I was already frustrated, so I did not use that method. Um, there was a couple other videos out there, so I'm not coming up with this off myself. But uh, yeah, I was already ready to go in but you can tell there's nothing really in the in there so i want to try to uh basically reset the code on the on certain websites there's uh three holes right here and they show you or kind of tell you uh that there's uh we call it a reset button somewhere in here around this area and you can get a wire and move the the foam that's in there which let me see if i can focus there's foam that's on the inside of those little holes that lines basically the whole inner uh, inner structure. So it, basically your, your gun won't get uh, scratched up. Um, but you have to get right on it and I don't know where it's at. So that did not work for me. I did not want to go that route. Now there's another video, which is the video I'm going to be showing or basically just going kind of trying to do what they do and hopefully I can open it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do that one with y'all here. Let me adjust what I'm doing. And basically what you're gonna need, I got a couple things from around the house before I did this video. I got a screwdriver, basically a flathead. Got a Phillips screwdriver. Um, I got one of these things for like those door for the doors or like the restroom doors some, some places. Let me get up. Basically I can't get it to focus on that. So the other thing I did, cause I went and looked at that video, like I said, and you could see he's using a little piece of wire. So this one, you could see it has a small L shape and it is real thin. It's actually a bobby pin. Uh, you could probably see the little waves in it. I just straightened it all the way out and made a little L on the end. Nothing crazy, nothing special about it. Um, but yeah, that seemed to be what he used and I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, like I said. So let me, I guess, move this little table and I'll put my camera downward and We'll try it, see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? I break it, I only pay three bucks for it, so it don't really matter. I already have safes for my stuff, so it's all good, but I mean, $3 fine, you can't beat it. If I can get it open, I can reset the password and basically have it like a functioning product, uh, just hoping that the battery doesn't die. <laughs> but anyway, enough talking, let's get into it. All right, guys, so we got the tools here on the side, and basically I'm just using the table that I had here, a small little, uh, table to eat on or whatever but I got the tools here and I think I'm just gonna go with the bobby pin it seems it's sturdy enough because this thing's kind of looped and it might get stuck and I really want to just get in as easy as possible and it, was, it seems like it'll be easier with the bobby pin so I'm just gonna do that uh, first things first you gotta take this thing off it actually comes off kind of kind of easy You see, take that off. There's that gun vault right there. It does come with the LED thing off. 
And basically this is what you're gonna have underneath. And yeah. So the locking mechanism is somewhere in here from what the video, the other video showed, but basically I'm not trying to encourage anyone to break into anything, but this one I happen to get and I want to use it. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna try to do what I can. And basically right here in this section, uh, let's see. right here in this section is where you're gonna try to put your screwdriver, which let me try to, get stuck a little bit but I gotta try to motivate it I'm just gonna hit it with the other the other piece right here it actually gets in there pretty easily uh, I don't know though let's see and basically damn the bobby pin fits pretty easy let me try it with this thing first see if I can open it I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for though so it's in there I see it's in there I don't know if I should go a little bit higher there we go I don't know what I'm looking for. Mm. <laughs> ah, I almost lost the damn thing. All right, let me try this thing. See what it is. Uh, oh crap, it got stuck. Okay, there we go, it's in there. Basically, once it's in there, I'm going in like this. Uh, let me see. It's hard for y'all to see, but I'm going in like this and then I'm flipping it. And the way it looked in the video, he was just going like this with the L part shape uh, facing down like that. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I could hear something. Mm. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, so. Maybe I gotta go in further. Oh, oh, it actually worked. Okay, I don't know what I touched or what, but it feels like you gotta go a little bit further in, like about right here, and then turn it and then start moving it. Cause I was around right the entrance and it wasn't doing anything, but uh, there's nothing in there. Damn, no treasures. Anyway, let me get back up here. That, that's wild. It actually worked. That's crazy. It's crazy. Hold on, hold on. Let me move this up. Oh, I'm not even gonna cut it out. <sighs> so anyway, yeah. This thing's open. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, uh, let me put this thing back on. I'm about to super glue that thing back on. Make sure somebody don't just take it off like that. Anyway, ain't, ain't nobody coming to my house, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it opened. It worked. Um, I watched a video I'm supposed to, okay, there's a button on the inside of here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to capture it on camera, but it's like right around, okay, right there. If y'all can see right there, there's an indention or a circle. That's where that uh, reset is. So if I remember correctly, let me see, let me look, put it down again. If I remember correctly, you have to push it for two seconds. Turns green. Then you do like one, two, three, four. Push it again. It turns red. One, two, three, four. Then you push it again. Hold it for two seconds. And it beeps green four times, five times, whatever it was. Uh, let me try before I close it again because I'm not 100% that it'll open again. Oh, it opened. Cool, that thing. All right, you close it back up. <sighs> Sorry about the shoddy recording, but I really wasn't gonna do this video, but I figured it was pretty cool. You don't find a gun vault every day uh, and have a chance to actually break into it and try to actually still be able to use it. So let me do one, 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 one. Hmm. Hold up. All right, let's try it again. One, 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 one. Bam! And there we go. <laughs> it actually is that easy, I guess. This thing came off pretty easy, so I don't know. I think uh, I might have to glue this back on, but uh, at least it's working. And I know I got silicone there, so I don't really have to buy anything. But that's only for this particular model right here. 
I guess I'm about to get like a clickbait thumbnail or something. I gotta go up. <sighs> not looking too far down. Just like. <laughs> I don't know, it's just crazy. Let's try it again. <sighs> one, 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 one. Bam, got it. Yeah, so it's that easy. You need a screwdriver, flathead. That's just a basic flathead that I used. Anyway, just a basic flathead and a bobby pin. Uh, you can try using like a piece of wire. Uh, I had like speaker wire and stuff, but I don't think that would have held up. But from what it felt like, when you put it in, you gotta like pass up the little protective thing, uh, like a protective barrier. You gotta pass it up and then you turn it down and then just move it around. And I don't know if I hit it that way or if I caught it back this way, but it opened. And the reset is real easy. Y'all can watch a video on how to reset, but basically it's just hold that button twice, the, the button that's in here for the reset. It'll turn green, enter your three or four digit code, press it again for two seconds. It'll turn red. Then you enter your code again, and then you press it again, and it programs it there and everything's good. Uh, so yeah, $3 pickup. Let me know what y'all think, guys. I'll be doing a video hopefully, hopefully tomorrow. Cause I've been on my ground, I've been out there. Y'all gonna see why I haven't done a video in the last few days. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of pickups, not really sneaker related or even clothes related. I do have clothes though. I did pick up some, some good stuff. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of different stuff that I picked up. One of the flips, all right, just, just stay tuned for tomorrow guys. This one I'm doing right now, like right, right now, I'm gonna edit it real quick and upload. It's probably gonna be like a midnight drop, but I don't expect that many people to watch it. But if y'all interested, I appreciate you coming through and checking it out. But anyways, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you too can be part of that 210 Guy Kicks fam. And again, it's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Peace guys. Till the next one.